Looking for local? Even more local? CCX Media gives you the option to connect with your community on multiple levels. CCX Create welcomes you, community residents, to connect and experience television in an exciting way. The free TV classes we offer will have you on your way to creating TV, and our wide variety of content can be watched at home or on the go. Connect to what's happening in your community. Visit ccxmedia.org. Hello and welcome to Feed Me Vegan. I'm Noreen and this is Mary Bu from Imbu Yoga. Um, and we are having her on the show today. Um, she is our guest here. She's gonna make us some lovely, lovely drinks, Ayurveda type drinks. Um, and before we do that, I need to let you know that Feed Me Vegan is proudly brought to you by a Vegan University through Animal Rights Coalition, which aims to bring um, vegan veganism into the kitchen and make it easy, tasty, Delicious, cute. I like to put it cute in there because we, we're kind of cute. Sometimes. <laughs> Vegans are cute. Um, <laughs> so, Mary, uh, take it away. Well, what right. are we making today? We're going to make three different beverages that are really helpful for digestion because the holidays are coming up and we're going to probably overeat. <laughs> um, so Let's um, just, yeah, <laughs> go, on, go ahead and say yes. So, first of all, we're going to make a spiced chai. Um, you can use either black or rooibos tea. I chose rooibos because it just smells so good. So oh, it's African honeybush tea. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, it's yes. so beautiful. So oh, we're going to yes. boil a couple cups of water and then put in some, some teaspoons of these tea leaves and start to let that simmer. And then we're going to add. So um, you just throw it right in there, huh? Yeah. All righty. And uh, then we're gonna add some cardamom, which if you've had chai, that's like that delicious, spicy, like these are such good holiday drinks. Oh my god! So a little bit of cardamom. Can I just smell it? I know. It's yeah. so good. Yeah. Whoa. Yes, I do love that. <laughs> and then we're gonna add yeah, cloves, which I forgot. But yeah. Pretend there are cloves in there. <laughs> and then we're gonna have some fresh grated ginger, some fresh minced. So about two teaspoons of that. Nice. So and so I leave the skin on. It's, fine because we're just going to strain it out at the end. Okay. So. Oh, that's right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, so we're going to just mince it right. really fairly small. You don't have to go too small. And we're just going to simmer this away. And so ginger is insanely good for digestion. And it's also, it's spicy, it's calming, it's delicious uh -huh. <laughs> and it has so many uses we're gonna use that in a, in a couple of our drinks today um yesterday I was feeling like crap like oh, yeah. I I thought I might be getting ill and yeah. I was like um my go-to is always uh this ginger kombucha that I can oh, find yeah. at the co-op sure. oh, it, it saves so my life good. like every time I wake up I the know. next morning and I'm like renewed kombucha is the so, best yeah do you, do you make it yourself I, d I actually did once yeah, yeah. For, for a time um I'll give you a SCOBY if you need one. Oh my, my SCOBYs, gosh. they just grow and grow and grow. Yeah, no, so they do. Mine was huge <laughs> at the end of it. And then um, summer came around and I didn't cover it well and it got all contaminated and yeah. stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta keep your <sighs> eyes on that. Friggin', <laughs> friggin' kombucha. So we're boiling this all together, right? Yeah. Okay, so she shoot, threw in a little bit of ginger there. And oh my gosh, it already smells really good. Yeah, ginger, <laughs> rooibos tea. What else is there? Cardamom, cloves, and then we're putting saffron in. And saffron is like, it's a, look how beautiful this is. It's just bright red little strands. Oops. Yeah, and you it's kind of expensive, but like the flavor is so unique. Like it's just beautiful. So we'll get that going. I've never seen saffron before. Oh, or smelled so it until pretty. today. So pretty. So. Then awesome. do you have a spoon? Okay, here we go. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Ideally a wooden spoon, but we'll, we'll just do this one. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we have one. And then um, we're going to add a few cups of your favorite nut milk or um, plant-based milk. So I chose flax milk because it has some omega-3s in it. Mm -hmm. um, you could do soy milk or almond milk or 
oat milk. <laughs> oh, I'm excited to try. I don't think I've ever had flax milk before. Yeah, I got the unsweetened kind because we're going to add sweetener at the end. Oh, it's smelling so good. I know. Okay. So, have so, you ever had a dirty chai? I have. <laughs> you add espresso to it. Mm. Dirty chai. Yeah, that gets, <laughs> that gets you going for it sure. It does. And it's so tasty. Okay, so we're gonna let this simmer. I'm gonna turn that down. Okay. And then I'm gonna get started while that's simmering. Oh, so I'm gonna get started on another beverage. Alrighty. Does that sound good? Yeah, okay. absolutely. So we're just like flying phone. through this. I know. <laughs> okay, so can we, can we kind of talk a little bit about Ayurveda and what sure. it kind of is, what it means if, for the people that are not familiar at home? Sure. So full disclosure, I'm not a Ayurvedic expert, although mm -hmm. I'm in my advanced yoga training and we will be doing that module in uh, December, in January. So I'm so excited. Um, Ayurveda is, it's, tax, it's, a, um, it's a lifestyle. It's the sister science of yoga. And so yoga is like um, not only just the postures that we all know. Mm -hmm. Yoga is meditation and breath work and philosophy and lifestyle guidelines. So, and I think veganism really ties in well with yoga philosophy because the um, first foundation is nonviolence, mm -hmm. ahimsa. Mm -hmm. So um, Ayurveda is the sister science and it's all about diet and hygienic practices and looking at your own personal constitution um, it says that each of us have different, like, abundance of elements, earth, fire, water, ether, and air. Right? Is that the right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All five of them? Yeah. Yep. Guess what mine is, guys. No. I mean, I'm probably we'll the do. same as you. <laughs> <laughs> Ton of fire. I took the quiz this morning online because I wanted to be prepared for this. Right. Anyways, oh, that's, awesome. that's, like, literally all I know. Like, I ate at a place in New York that, like, makes this food, mm -hmm. this Ayurveda food, and then I took a quiz, and I was like, oh, fire, that makes sense. And then I for was like, sure. all right, did nothing with it. Like, <laughs> really did nothing with that knowledge. Well, you're doing but now, now. Yeah, no, I'm learning, and I'm really excited about this. So, so it's a sister science to yoga. Mm-hmm. Meaning that like the two like people typically do them hand in hand. Yes. People that yoga usually learn Ayurveda. At some yes. Point. Um, okay. The further, the deeper you get into yoga philosophy, people eventually come around to it. It's like a whole system of health, and it's um, studying like like our waist and mm -hmm. studying our tongues. Like it sort of like ties in with like Eastern um, like uh, like acupuncture. Yeah, you know, in a way yeah. of just like looking at the tongue. Um, looking at the color of your urine, like, yeah, and yeah. just analyzing, like, to see where you're imbalanced, and then using spices and different hygienic practices to, to nourish. Oh, I love that. So if you're interested in that, we're doing, at my yoga studio, a cooking immersion and a philosophy immersion in December, um, mid-December. mid -Dece do you know what day, what the time? December 15th and 16th, 10 hours. Molly McManus from Yoga North is coming down, and she's gonna, we're gonna cook, we're gonna use the shop next door, the, the future, and then we're gonna use their kitchen, and then we'll do the philosophy. You don't even have to wear That's yoga so pants awesome. because we're not gonna do postures, we're just gonna do philosophy. <laughs> so where can they see you online? Um, imbueyoga.com. Okay. Yep, and Facebook and Instagram. Instagram. and. And I posted on our Instagram. She didn't know I was doing it, but I did a little <laughs> video of us taping this morning, so check that out. Okay, thank um, you. If you want to. Awesome. Um, so what are we, okay, and then I'm, I'm totally taking away from what you're doing, oh but what, what are you doing right now? Right now we are making, um, Molly, Molly McManus gave me all these recipes. She teaches at Yoga North and she's doing the immersion. Um, this is called Ginger Nectar. Digestive fire support. Yeah. So yeah, we've got our <laughs> limes. So we're juicing some limes out, and we're gonna get ginger juice going. This is all stuff I grab when I like have digestive issues yeah. too. I'm like, okay, lime liqueur, and then yep. like ginger. I make ginger totally. tea at home sometimes. Oh, nice. So yeah. <gasps> fun. Yes. This so is fun. So, cool. so yeah, we um, in. To veganize Ayurveda, they use a lot of, they use raw honey and ghee. Um, mm -hmm. So we're gonna use coconut milk and agave, which is um, um, the nectar of cactus, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is a delicious sweetener. You could use different sweeteners too. Um, stevia, but that's so sweet I find sometimes mm -hmm. that it's like almost Well, it's, it's also got like this weird herbal like yeah. tinge to it too mm -hmm. that I feel like throws off things sometimes for me. Yeah, um, ditto. Yeah, I d the only time I've ever really liked it is in a stevia soda. Right, yeah. But 
But it works. I mean, it works I'm for open sometimes. to suggestions about what it tastes good in because I, I like the concept of mm -hmm. not I, I'm really sensitive oh. to sugar. So I'm, squir I'm squirting Just myself here. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing good. You're doing good. Um, so uh, coconut oil and in place of the ghee, right? Yep. And yep. then and this agave. in place of the honey. So agave in place of the honey, those are both vegan options for those. Yes. Um, so for this drink, we're doing um, kind of a third of each, third ginger juice, third lime, and then we'll throw in our agave. Excellent. And this um, is a nice thing to make right before you eat. So you, you make it and um, drink a little sip. It's kind of potent. And then... Um, then it stokes the digestive fire. So um, maybe you've heard, um, like if you eat. Is that not fitting? Oh, these things. How do we do this? <laughs> oh, it's, yeah, it fits on a certain way, doesn't it? Yep. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> oh, so good. kind of like the idea of like if you eat a salad, like a fresh herb salad, it gets the this. digestive fires going. Or maybe is it, is it the other direction? Oh my gosh, this is so No, it's I had it it's, before. It's hilarious. <laughs> I just <laughs> You did have it before, I didn't know. you? I wonder is is this around the front here? Oh, yes. there you okay. go. She's got it. Oh. Okay, so Never we're going to get we this going. This. Whoa. <laughs> I think <we're> <laughs> There we go. <laughs> we got it. Woo! So funny. All right. I have to go home and take a shower. Oh yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Well, it's covering well, it, um, agave and limes. So we're pureeing <laughs> the heck out of that, right? Yeah, puree the heck out of it. And you could also puree the ginger. Like, I just added it all in here oh, for time's sake. It smells so good already. Um, you could puree it all and then squeeze out the juice, and then you won't have this, like, pulp. Um, but do you want to try it? Yeah. So let's so see. you just sip it? Little, yeah, we just, just sip it. What's the, oh, my goodness gracious. So okay. we could, actually, let's strain it with this thing. This is so cool. Do, do, do. Or, like I said before, I do have, but I don't know, that would take a lot of the stuff. Yeah, let's just sip it like this. Yeah, and then I'm we can fine with that. Do a little, I would recommend probably straining and making the ginger juice. We can get this out of the way. Um, here. Oh my gosh. Maybe you. use your teeth to strain. <laughs> <laughs> but you get the idea, right? Oh yeah. Woo! I love ginger so much though. That totally resonates with me. Like, I'm like, mm. that gives me life right there. Like, the most, okay, so I, don't, I eat sushi. Mm -hmm. Not, I'm vegan sushi, yep. people. For sure. Um, <laughs> but um, afterwards, I'm always looking forward to that pickled ginger that they always yes. give you because it's just yes. like, the best ending to a meal. For sure. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's antimicrobial. It's yep. digestion, oh. blah, 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 blah. So we're going to strain this chai now. Alrighty, should um, we do the this this thing? Yeah, so I would recommend using like cheesecloth or like a, a colander that's really fine. Um, you know what? I think we're just gonna make a mess over here, so maybe we'll just strain right into the mugs. Or right into right the mugs. Yeah, mugs. sure. And we can use this thing instead. Do, 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 do. So would you pour, and I'll hold this thing. We're doing things a little complicated because I forgot to bring my strainer. Oh, so yes. would you? Oh, yeah. Or do you want to hold this and I'll pour? It, or um, I feel better. Whatever's if you pour. <laughs> clever here. So you want to get out the fine, or at least most of it, right? Yeah. Ooh. There we go. And then we'll add fine. agave to that. And so the nice thing is, that you if you get unsweetened nut milks, then you can add sweetness to your taste. And give that so a this stir. automatically is not necessarily a sweet drink, right? Okay. Unless you're getting like Unless you could you also get like vanilla, almond milk, or vanilla coconut milk, and just have like if you like vanilla in your chai. Yeah, yeah. So let's. Is that right? Oh, that's good. <laughs> I mean, even with it not all strained out, that's yeah. still good. Yeah. Oh, so yum. have a have a have a quality strainer or like a tea, um, even like a tea bag, and mm -hmm. you could like or pour in like those coffee pour mm -hmm. over things. Okay, so we've got our digestive 
lime, ginger, agave, nectar. We've got our spiced chai. We've got our mess. <laughs> we, <laughs> got, we got the mess. <laughs> That's for sure. But and now okay. we're going to get started on a turmeric hot cocoa. Where did okay. that other pan go? Yes. So we can use a smaller one. That guy. So turmeric is this like gorgeous orange, like beautiful. So it's a root, it's kind of like ginger, and you can buy the root fresh too. Um, and it's anti-inflammatory. So I was making, when I was training for my marathon, I would make, I would make turmeric drinks, and mm -hmm. I felt like, well, just a vegan diet in general. I feel like my um, recovery is not like I don't get as sore. Mm -hmm. So like, but this is like a great anti-inflammatory if you feel like sore after you exercise. So let's see, we're gonna. Go I know over a lot here. of people that take turmeric when they're s really sick, yeah. and it makes them feel better. Yeah. So that's what I know about it. Yeah, it's a, it's a super powerful health food. So we're again gonna take our flax milk or whatever nut milk you like, and toss that in there. And again, I like this for omega threes, which in the freezing. Gray Minnesota. Mm -hmm. It's like <laughs> it's good to get that the in. The best thing. And then we'll do. And it doesn't like th we use that flax milk in this, right? Yeah. It tastes good. It's pretty it's not neutral. Bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of creamy. It's not like cre super creamy. Like soy milk. Some soy milks are really kind of mm -hmm. clumpy, creamy. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna add our our turmeric, and then some cinnamon. And you could also simmer like a full, a few full si uh, cinnamon sticks. Oops, that's too hot. Where did my cinnamon go? Here it is. Thank you for stirring. I like that you smelled it to actually figure out. Yeah. What <laughs> <laughs> no, that's yep, a good that's though. That's yep. That's what I do. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> that's like half, half, half the stuff in my kitchen is unlabeled. I know, me too. <laughs> like, because you, you, the, uh, bulk, like it was me. It was like, it's so fun picking out spices at the co-op in bulk. Oh, it's absolutely. Just, like, it's so fun. And then we'll do our um, raw cacao powder, which is also a superfood. <sighs> no. Could you do this maybe with like carob if you? You could, yeah, okay. you could do it with carob for sure. Is carob Ayurveda? I don't know. Okay. Again, I'm not an expert, but but I, you know, you learn things, you take in. Yes. You learn, you start small and then you grow from there. And then we throw in a little bit of coconut oil. So that's gonna make it creamy. And um, yeah, coconut oil is so it's I'm like so a magic. In this. Yeah, oh, I love I love put coconut oil. Put it on my oil. skin. I feel like it healed my face. Like I had. Did it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had like I was so dry and. Ugh. <laughs> I know a lot of people that coconut <laughs> oil cleanse. Oh, their I've never skin. done that. Yeah. Where did the agave go? Oh, oh I am hiding it from you. <laughs> Thank you. So agave too, you can get um, like a lighter amber or the darker one, and I I prefer the lighter. The darker just feels a little too heavy. Yeah. yeah. And again, you can add your sweetness as much as you like. So this is just you. Just, we aren't straining this one. We're not this, straining this we're one. We're just kind of yep. melting it all together mm -hmm. here. All right. Yep. And you can you can add this later. Like you don't have to simmer it. Um, with the honey, or with the, sorry, with the agave. Mm -hmm. And then um, if you wanted to create froth, you could put it in a blender. Oh, nice. And then you have like a frothy hot cocoa. Oh, nice. So whenever that stirs up. Yeah, that Because we're melting oil. our coconut oil. Yep. Let's see, maybe turn that in. Let's see the other one. Okay. Mm -mm, getting there. Yep. <laughs> so. Then this thing that's going to be happening in December, I still want to talk about this, a 10-hour mm -hmm. thing. And, mm -hmm. and you guys are cooking, you guys are doing, what else are you doing? Yeah, so we're, um, we're looking at the six tastes. So, you know, we all know that there's um, sweet, salty, pungent, sour, and um, Ayurveda has a few other tastes. Again, okay. I'm not an expert, and that's why I'm bringing Molly here, <laughs> so I can learn. Um, so we're going to look at the six tastes. We're going to uh, analyze our we're gonna do some self-reflection on mm -hmm. our own constitutions and look at different ways that we can nourish ourselves with food and cooking and different lifestyle daily routines. So things like tongue scraping, do you know about oh, that? Oh sure, yep, I've and, heard of that. And neti pots, and mm -hmm. like there are different like pranayama techniques. So pranayama is conscious breath work and there are different techniques that you can do to aid digestion. 
and different yoga postures that you can do to aid digestion as well. So this will be not only talking about digestion, but also just like an overall like well-being retreat. It's a Friday so night and a Saturday morning. And so again, it's, it's not yoga postures. We'll probably do a little meditating and self-reflection, but not like putting our legs behind our heads or anything. Right. And, and, then, um, and then we'll eat and cook and learn about spices and learn about um, the elements that are like in all of us always. And then, um, yeah, so that's December 15th. And we also do monthly vegan potlucks at the studio. I heard um, about that. Yeah, TJ probably mentioned that. Yeah, so TJ Long, you guys, the, um, from Whole Connection, he's been on the show doing raw stuff. He did a uh, cooked for uh, cooked raw for us a couple times. So he he does the he does a yoga class yep. that I've been to before and I oh, loved yay. it. Oh yay! Thank you. I loved so it. Glad you went. Yeah. Um. He I he does I think he did Yin or was yep. it Yin? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, which totally resonates with me because um, in my daily work it's super stressful mm -hmm. and like that is just the right mm -hmm. balance for me. So. That's awesome. I enjoyed myself. And do you Good. teach there? I do, yep. I teach I teach between five and ten classes a week, depending on workshops and stuff. Oh, do you do a yin class? I don't do yin. I do um, a style called vini yoga, which is a low-intensity flowing practice. Um, I also just taught a series called Yoga for Neurotic Artists. <laughs> oh, I heard about it that. Was I saw so that fun. on. Was it? Okay. It was, I'm going to, I'll totally do it again. Yeah. <laughs> and we actually have now four vegans teaching at the space. We, there are nine That's instructors, so but I'm just like, wow, this is so cool. <laughs> that is so great. Okay. Okay, I think so we're ready. So now we got this all ready to go here. Yeah. And do we have another mug to put this here? Right, we we're do. just going to pour it in and taste it. Here, let's put right. it in. Yeah. All right. Let's put that out of the way. You guys, it smells so good. I, I'm interested to see what the turmeric tastes like. Yeah, you go so, first. So, okay. It might be like super piping. And again, you can add sweetness as you want. That's good. That, yeah, that's not bad. Um, is it kind of intense? You can, no, you can taste the turmeric. No, I I would drink that. I would drink the whole thing. I would like chug that. Well, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, and like, you know, certain f spices come out more. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that, that turmeric, I don't even know how to describe that mm -hmm. flavor. Mm -hmm. it's so but it's, it is pungent. It, well, it's... And it's, it's a little astringent. Turmeric-y. Yeah. But it's... Um, <laughs> It's not like I felt like maybe I don't know. It like balances out. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for you to make it. We'll have these it's recipes. It's not bad at somehow. all. <laughs> yeah, that is so good. <laughs> all of these are really good. Yay. Um, you guys, we will have <clears throat> the recipes. She kind of eyeballed everything here, but we will have the recipes up on the YouTube channel. Um, and excuse me. <coughs> you can check out Mary at Imbue Yoga, right? Is mm -hmm. it okay? And then you guys are on Instagram, you're on yep. Facebook, anywhere, yes. and online. Yep, Twitter a little bit. Twitter a mm -hmm. little bit. Um, and check out a class from her. Go to that thing in December because yeah. I'm really super interested in that, to be quite honest. Yay! Um, and then Feed Me Vegan is like we tell you all the time. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on the YouTube, so check us out there. We're also on a cable access network. And yeah, so that's our show today. We got a Can got I a bunch leave of them with a do. yoga posture to oh, digestion? Oh, absolutely. So I'm, I'm. We got time. Should I do it on the counter? No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to walk, I'm going to talk you through it. So. Um, Can I do it too? Yeah, for yes. sure. So um, we are. Before you practice, like, so yoga, again, is, like, multi-layered, and the thing that the West, the West looks at is the postures, mostly, but it's a lot of meditation and breath work. And, um, and so um, we're going to do just, like, a really simple twist. And normally I would lay on the floor to do this. Um, so before you practice postures, don't eat, like, for at least an hour or two because, like, again, like, Imagine if you have a belly full of food, mm -hmm. like you can't really breathe, and then like if you're twisting, like you're gonna get gas, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So good like to know. maybe after a couple hours after your um, tofurkey feast, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, okay. lay on the ground, and actually we'll do a standing version. Okay. But um, we'll do a standing version first, and then so s step your legs wide, and then bring your hands to your heart. Take a big inhale, and a nice grounding exhale. And then inhale your arms up. 
and exhale, float down all the way forward. And we'll just do that a couple of times, inhaling up, and then exhaling forward. And you wanna do this a few times so you start to warm up your low back. And if you have any um, low back issues, I would be careful with this twist. But we'll, we'll go kind of gentle. We'll go inhaling up, arms shoulder height. And then exhale, draw your belly in, start to fold forward. And then bring your fingers to the floor and twist your arm open, looking up. And then we'll inhale all the way back to standing. And then exhale again, draw your belly in and twist, folding forward. And just taking that a couple of times, maybe when you get there, you want to stay for a little mm -hmm. bit. And then another version that's a little gentler would be to lay on your back and bend your knees towards your chest, have your arms out to a T, and you're just gonna windshield wiper the knees. Center. Yeah, yeah, and that like massages out the intestines and the stomach. Okay. So it brings circulation and helps aid digestion. Awesome. So, <laughs> so th this whole thing you could do standing up like mm -hmm. while your crap's cooking in the kitchen. Yeah, exactly. Guys. Exactly. <laughs> people at home. Get That's really cool. Yay. Awesome, thank you. Thank you, namaste. Yeah, <laughs> namaste. Um, so yeah, check her out. Check out her, her um, yoga studio, studio, you guys, and take a class. Um, That'd be great. Yeah. So um, that's our show today. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was we so much really fun. We really appreciate your time <laughs> um, showing us Ayurveda Yay. and telling us about your yoga stuff. For and sure. so, yeah, check us next time, guys. Awesome. Bye. Cheers. Namaste. <laughs>